Welcome to First Word Farmers News Roundup for July the 21st, brought to you today by editorial researcher Nina Whittle. In our top news story, Biogen CEO George Skangos will be leaving the company in the coming months when a successor is found. Stelios Papadopoulos, chairman of Biogen's board of directors, noted that Skangos joined the drug maker six years ago at a very challenging time. Papadopoulos added that Skangos reorganized operations and oversaw the enrichment of our product pipeline and the launch of several products. Meanwhile, the drug maker reported that its second quarter profit rose to $1.1 billion from $927 million in the year-ago period, while sales gained 12% during the quarter to $2.9 billion. Also in the news, Amgen and Allergan announced top-line Phase 3 results showing that their proposed biosimilar ABP980 was non-inferior to Roche's Herceptin in patients with HER2-positive early breast cancer. The companies also noted that the data could not rule out superiority based on its primary efficacy and point of difference in the percentage of patients with a pathological complete response. In addition, Galenica entered into a definitive agreement to acquire Relipsa for $32 per share in cash or about $1.5 billion. The price represents a 59% premium to Relipsa's share value on July 20. And finally, Roche's net income during the first half gained 3% year-over-year to 5.5 billion Swiss francs, while sales climbed 5% to 25 billion Swiss francs. Meanwhile, sales in the pharmaceutical division generated 19.5 billion Swiss francs, reflecting a 4% gain from the same period last year, driven by oncology and immunology therapies. To read these and other stories in full, please visit firstwordpharma.com. Are you able to keep up with all the news and views in the biosimilars market? First Word's Biosimilar Index is the only dedicated biosimilar and non-comparable biologics intelligence tool available. Get ahead of your competition and learn more today.